In this video, we're looking at a handy little tool for the creator of desktop installer, Auto Admin. Well, here we are on the actual website of Auto Admin and Desktop Installer. And uh, Desktop Installer itself is a, is a superbly uh, useful little tool. But the same people who actually created that have done something called Auto Admin. So a quick overview of Auto Admin is really it's to provide a convenient interface for performing common system admin tasks. Uh, it's a set of tools that enable you to enable and disable services, tune in the system, installing software, etc. I don't know how much uh, use it would be for a seasoned FreeBSD user, but for uh, someone who's new to the system, then well, yeah, I could, uh, it could be a helping guide. To install it is relatively easy. You can do pkg install auto admin, or you can compile it from parts, or you can use Portmaster to compile it from parts. Right, here we are on a Raspberry Pi 400 running FreeBSD, and we're going to test it on this. Starting Auto Admin is as simple as first getting root privileges and then just typing in auto hyphen admin. And you come up with a very simple uh, menu system. At the moment, there are five options you've got update system, user management, software management shut down system and quit. I should imagine in the future the more may be added to it. And we're gonna start with option one. And at first it tells you that the someone logged into the system. It asks, do you want to proceed with system updates? And I don't think there's gonna be any available because I've just recently updated this, but uh, we'll type yes. And let's broadcast a message to the user that are logged in. It's going through the update procedure and it's telling me that there's no updates needed. It's asking if you want to reboot. Now you can if it's just updated, but there's no point in doing that now because we haven't really upgraded anything. But if it was, it would give you a long list and it's the usual procedure. It was ask whether you're sure you want to upgrade and you'd press Y and then you'd, you know, you'd reboot. Next, we're gonna try user management. I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this because it's just basically add user Add user to another group, remove user from group, change user's primary UID, change user's primary group, change user's GID. There's really not much more to it than that. We'll just go back to the main menu. Next is going to be software management. You can list install packages, list available packages, search available packages, install packages, remove packages, and install port or package from source. So obviously we're going to go with option one, which is list installed packages. I'll just zoom out of it so we can see. And this gives you a brief overview about all the the various installed applications, etc., that you have on your system. Let's go back in. And next you can list available packages. So you know, conversely, it's gonna list all the ones that you haven't installed yet. Search available packages. And you can enter any part, so it'll go on a keyword. So if you type in fire, it will list everything with fire in. So you've got Firefox, of course. It's all very good. I do find in keyword search is actually quite useful. You, you might remember some of the name of the application you want to install, but not all of it. And this will find it for you. It's just really basically a PKG search. That's all it is. Right, back to the main menu. Next, we're going to install a package, but before we do that, I need to actually search. I should have searched before, but we'll uh, we'll search again. So we'll type three, and we'll search for something called shoot. Um, oh, I don't know. Brick shoot sounds good. Push blocks on the playing field. Okay, we'll go for that one. So it's uh, brick shoot. So you type in four, enter the package name. I think this has to be uh, specific, so we'll put in brick shooter. And it'll just install it as per normal. Press return to continue. All right, and five is remove package. And we're not going to do that. Six is to install ports packages from source. So say, for instance, we want to install uh, music on console mock. 
if we type in music forward slash mock, uh, it does not exist. I just remember it's in audio, never mind. We go back to the main menu. And option four is shut down system. No, we're not going to shut down at the moment, but when you do, and if there's anyone logged in, it'll, again, it'll tell you uh, to give them warning. And the last option is Q for quit. I'll just exit this. Start X to put the graphics up, and there we go. I do like Raspberry Pi uh, with FreeBSD on it. It's very nice, quite quick. And there's the game that we installed. It's very nice. It's a very simple game. So simple, I uh, I can't do it. Oh yeah, got the hang of it now. So it's very nice. So it's a little utility. Uh, I don't know how much use it is for someone who is seasoned in FreeBSD, but you know, like I say, for someone who is new, it might take some of the uh, the uncertainty away. It's a handy little script. I think it's um, something which could be worked on a little bit more, added to. But it's a promising start. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well. Um.